Well, hey everyone, it's Megan, and this is Sarah, my sister from Hi. Sarah Hannett, and this is Naomi from Naomi's Bookshelf, Hi. and we are going to do the camping book tag today because we are camping right now. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to divide it up into three parts. So the first part will be on my channel, the second part on Naomi's, and the yep. third on Sarah's. So follow the links below to watch the full tag. And uh, yeah, this was originally done by Becca with a book. So the first question is tent, which we slept in last night. Well, well Sarah didn't. Didn't. I didn't. We did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> <laughs> so tent, a classic book that people still enjoy. And I had to say Pride and Prejudice because <laughs> obviously people still love that one. <laughs> yeah. um, for me, I was thinking like Sherlock Holmes. I feel mm. like every generation has had a Sherlock Holmes book or show come out and it's just always being relived. Mm. Okay, and I wanted to go with The Scarlet Pimpernel because despite not being as known, it seems to have consistently had a following ever since it was created, mm -hmm. up to and including different movie and TV show adaptations. Yeah. Cool. Well, question two is Camper, a sequel you thought was better than the first book. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit surprising, but I am going to say Anne of the Island and Rilla of Ingleside, <laughs> which are books three and eight <laughs> of the Anne of Green Gables series. Uh, for me, I was thinking actually Harry Potter. I think the first one's great, but I think that they get better as the books go mm. on, especially with the more developed plot and characters. So I definitely think the first one isn't as great as the second one or the next ones, but I still think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was stuck. I was originally going to say Burning Maze from the Trials of Apollo series, but I decided to go with Two Towers from Lord of the Rings because mm. Fellowship of the Ring, I love you, but you're kind of meandering and can we please get back to the plot? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, Sleeping Bag, a book that makes you feel warm and cozy. Just had a mosquito on my hand. Um, for me, that's the Betsy Tacy series. Like, I feel so cozy and wholesome and happy when I read them. So, definitely the Betsy Tacy series by Maude Hart Lovelace. Uh, I just actually read a really nice, sweet book that made me just feel sugary on the inside, which is what I'm kind of counting it as. And it's that, Then There Was You by Kara Isaac, and it was like a Christian romance set in like Australia about this like mega church. And this girl who doesn't like mega churches, it was great. I loved it. And I was like, it was like little candy that I was eating. It was just so sweet and warm and cozy. And this is going to sound weird, but The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. <laughs> The it, graveyard book, so cozy. It just, it just makes me happy. I don't know. I know it's strange, but it does. So, yeah, that's my choice. Well, those were the first three questions of the camping book tag. So head over to Naomi's channel and then Sarah's channel for the next parts. Uh, so in the meantime, may you all be filled with peace, hope, love, and joy. So take care, everyone. <laughs> Way. Bye. Bye. <laughs>